Yeah. Don't buy this car. That's crazy. Send in traffic. I have one question that needed to be answered. How does that even happen? The outer shell of the door is like ripped off. I need answers. And ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to our destination. Here we have the E92 M3. You guys saw this on the channel a couple months ago. We filmed with it. You guys know we want to add one to the fleet eventually. We got aftermarket seats. We got a roll cage. Let's hop in it. <laughs> and he has an aftermarket steering wheel that literally feels amazing. But check it out though. This, I think this is why this fool really wanted this is because of... Oh, dude, that, that feels... That's so pleasing. Like you guys, you guys have... Like just listen to it. Wow, that's crazy. But yeah, we eventually want to add one to the fleet. Um, I know that they do come in DCT and also manual, but this is actually a car that I want to get in DCT. Um, I just feel like it would just add to the experience if it is DCT. Because you guys know we have three, we have, well, we have three of the cars, but two of them are manuals, right? So I do want to get this in DCT once we add one to the fleet. His dad just picked up the CTS V V3. In mint condition, bro. It looks so sick. Look at that. Paint looks good. You guys know this has the same motor as the Z01 and the Z06. It's the LT4, if I'm not mistaken. So it is supercharged from the factory. With a carbon package. Looks good. They're just talking about doing vinyl on the uh, the window trim. Black it out. We're gonna. Well, they are gonna wrap the roof, and I think that's it. But looks good, man. Always did love these cars. Luxury and performance, you can't go wrong with it. So you guys see, obviously it's a Tesla, right? That's obvious, right? What's crazy is they said that this is colored PPF. So basically what that means is this is not like a car wrap, right? You know how like when you PPF a car? This is that, except it's colored. So the original color of this car is gray. But since they colored PPF, it, it like changed it. I don't know if you guys ever heard of color PPF, exactly. but that's crazy. So let me go like color you can actually see it here. So oh, yeah. You can't really see it because of the light, <laughs> yeah, but they yeah. can see it's gray. Yeah. And then, um, that's crazy. But, um, Check it out. Check it out, guys. So, you know, it, soft, wait, yeah, you can press it? it? Okay. Wait, 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 wait. It's actually motorized. Yes. Yeah, so I thought you pushed it. You. No Not way. No oh. way. Okay, that, that's like, that's cool. That's impressive, right? And then obviously you got, you know, that, that right? Wrong. No way! It's I, like the Corvette. You know how the Corvette screens do? Yeah, that's sick. Glove box. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then I guess what you just... Yeah. That's pretty sick. I, I it's, about it was, the, it's, it's the little things. Yeah, it's the little, little things. things. Alright, you guys want to hear a little bit? Hey, it got a little backfire to it. You hear it? <laughs> Sounds clean. I, don't, I think I showed them the, oh yeah, I showed them the steering wheel earlier. You guys hear the, that, that is very, uh, very pleasing. But we'll, we'll, we'll be back with this. So we're gonna go for a quick little drive in this car. He, he says it feels crazy. I think these come with 650 horsepower, supercharged from the factory. So uh, let's, let's see what it feels like. Butterflies, bro. Butterflies. <laughs> you feel the front end fill up? Yeah, yeah. It's crazy because the what I'm seeing and feeling versus what I'm hearing is not matching up. Yeah. Because obviously you can stock is awesome. Yeah.
Mm. Uh, good old uh, <laughs> six fist and brakes. <laughs> that feels amazing, man. I love how you can hear the whine though. Yeah, but it's only because it's quiet. Yeah, because obviously the exhaust is like stock, so you hear the whine more than anything. Like almost, almost more than the exhaust. Oh, I can only imagine too. And, well, actually, no, it's funny. So, there was, it was a, a very, not one say very long time ago, but it was uh, a while back we filmed the video and it was actually a V3. Um, it was racing that F80. I don't know if you guys remember that, but uh, he didn't want to race it because of the fact that if you do like a lower pulley, uh, basically full bolt on for the lower pulley, uh, yeah, these are nice, like 800, 800, 900 horsepower, and he didn't want to race it. So, yeah, you're right. Like, if you, if you mod these, bro, they're crazy. The steering wheel is sick, though. Real carbon fiber. It's like dry carbon. But the reason why there's lights on the dash is because there is aftermarket seats, full exhaust system. It isn't tuned yet, so that's why there's lights on the dash. I need it, bro. I need it. We'll do a small little rev. That's so sick, bro. And look, it just sounds very pleasing. So I'm thinking of my spec, right? And I was actually talking, it was me, Chris, and then you guys saw us go over there to the uh, that shop over there. That's a wrap shop, which is pretty cool. And there's a guy that owns at E92, and we were all talking. And uh, I've been doing my research on these, and uh, we were talking about no hump, and then the seagull hump. And uh, I'm actually throw the clip of when we went to Cars and Coffee and we were talking about that right here. So this is a, this has to be a sign, man. Like I said, you guys know that the next car that we want to get is the E92 M3. Hey, but you basically have the same seats though, huh? You know the one humps are more expensive. Wait, the what? What do you mean? Oh. Yeah, wait, wait, you're talking about the center dash, right? The top. The top. One hump is the speedometer and then there's another hump for the screen. Can you see how it humps? No. No. I'm literally talking about the hump. There's one hump. There's normally two humps? Yeah, because the screen makes the second one. So the I don't know. What screen, though? I'm trying to remember. Just the regular one that people make Apple CarPlay. The screen, bro. Okay, yeah. Well, that's what I'm, I'm trying to remember there's because... There's a screen right here. There's a, okay. Does yours have a screen? Yes. That, okay, I don't know why I can't remember. I think so I'm looking at more expensive. Screen. And it's six feet. Yeah. Oh, shoot. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, bro, this, this, this is everyone's is, dream spec. This is clean, bro. Even the even the fit room, though, That's crazy. This is everyone's dream spec. Bro. That's crazy. Yeah, uh, this is sick, bro. It says no nav. Maybe that's what he's talking about because that's no screen. Yes, that's exactly what he's and talking about. And everybody knows that this is the most expensive. Okay, I see. But see, I, if I would have read that, I would have never, never understood that. Yeah. But basically, we were talking, right? So if you have the single hump, you don't get the same like tech that you do with the double hump right and I guess you don't get like uh, the key thing so first you don't get the the key this entry right so you're gonna have to like put your key in right or something yeah, you unlock yeah. it like the typical way yeah, right then if you have the single hump you have to put your key in here and start it and then what's there's another thing this doesn't come yeah here. you don't you don't get none of this no, obviously you, that and then you don't, I mean, nobody cares about this but you care about the Apple CarPlay that you can convert it to yeah exactly so, so yet, that's the thing. I I think I would rather at that point. I think I would rather just have the double hump right. because putting I, the key I in. I get it. S single hump looks yeah. looks simple. It looks yeah. clean. It's just straight to the point. And if you're tracking the car, who gives a crap about this, exactly that hump? But exactly, and it, it should be cheaper then, right? You're getting less. <laughs> but, For real. No, that 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 is true. <laughs> but I don't. I think it would, it would be different if you had to like put the key and start it. But the fact that because it has a single hump, you have to put it in there and then press a button. That's kind of like it ruins all the keyless entry. And it's kind of yeah, it's, it's unnecessary. So keyless for, entry for 2009, bro. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So that's something like it. At that point, I think I'd rather just have the double hump. It's not really that that big of a deal. So yeah. I think for like my spec, I think I'd rather have the double hump. Plus, you get Apple CarPlay, so it's not really a, a complete loss. I forgot your, your windshield was uh, tinted. You don't really, you can't really tell unless the windows down. Then you're like, oh shoot. Clutch. I mean, I would have paid for it. <laughs> People charge an arm and a leg for it. Yeah, I'd like to it's tint your windshield. Same like, thing as a back windshield. It's like a hundred bucks just to tint the windshield. No, I think it's, some people even charge. I've heard like four hundred. No way. Because well, it's illegal. Yeah. Okay. Well, so are these? Yeah. Now they, now they tripping. <laughs> yeah, it's the same thing as a back windshield. Four hundred for a windshield. I'm not gonna pay that. 
We'll use this as a fountain holder. Dead. That steering, I know that steering wheel feels good. Oh, what was that? I wish we would have brought the 360. Yeah. It's just like nothing beats it, bro. We just got we just got out of a oops. We just got out of a faster car. Yeah. And it just doesn't compare, you know? Well, that's the thing though, like this car, like okay, yeah, like the, the V3 is obviously faster, but like this car still holds its own. Yeah, and the thing is, it's not even tuned yet. Like, yeah, that's, not tuned, that's why you see all these lights and shit. And then there comes the poop gas. <laughs> oh, I don't even think it's smelling, bro. It smells disgusting. It's right? funny, he's, he, like, he always says, like, you're going fast, right? So like obviously the exhaust is going that way, but the moment you stop, all it catches up with it, yeah. Everything, bro. <laughs> And, and it then, literally just did that. And then you know you got a downshift, so it becomes even worse. Yeah, that's hilarious. And yeah, no, this this car sounds amazing. There's no no words, bro. Yeah, there's there's really no comparison. Oh, there's nothing. No comparison. comparison. Okay. Like like I said, they usually go to the GT3 RS because that's the next best sound. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. You know, it's just especially like, when it current sound. Yeah. So that's once you see, if you start, bro, I'm telling you, like I explained to that that rap shop owner. The next car after E92 is a GT3. I don't, that's just. And of course guys, we're speaking uh, on terms of like tracking. Yeah, tracking, like it's just. Yeah. This is a track, I don't, I don't care about track, but I still want a GT3. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Well, the thing is, like, like I was telling uh, Chris and like the, the rap uh, shop owner guy, I didn't know until doing my research that these cars were like such track monsters yeah. I, didn't, I didn't know that to be honest i knew but i just like i don't care yeah yeah we're not we're not like serious track people like that i just enjoy the car for what it is yeah the steering wheel is uh definitely getting changed it feels good in the hands too yeah no, that was uh it's a little skinny but yeah well, I, no, I like it i think it's perfect this is an old lady i don't want to her ears <laughs> So the cool thing about uh, that whole setup is you can actually use your own steering wheel. Yeah, own steering. So you it just you six just, six little Allen keys comes off. Yeah, you connect. But but you can use your own one, but it has to like work with it because it it's full fit. with like he went through like, like four. four different steering wheels and it didn't fit. It's because these <laughs> this area was touching these buttons, so that was a little annoying. And then he went. I think the the last one before you got this one. Uh, he bought one from Amazon. <laughs> Amazon and it wasn't what it said it was. Someone came up. <laughs> Somebody put like a, a fake steering wheel in there. No, they put their used steering wheel. They kept the brand new one. Why do I have to be the... <laughs> and keep in mind guys, that happened after he went through three steering wheels. That's hilarious. I just wanted a steering wheel, guys. That's crazy, bro. I, blows my mind. <laughs> so obnoxious, bro. <laughs> oh That's my gosh. Like, yeah, it's a thousand, a thousand RPMs. I was telling him, right? So like, when I get mine, notice I said when. Um, I, I don't know if I would want carbon because the thing is, like, this slip right here, guys, is four hundred dollars. Like, look at this rock. So like yeah, imagine, imagine you like cracking this or like hitting it or whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> show you the rear. Show you his little, his little diffuser. What what exhaust you have in here again? It's a uh, Valtronic a mid pipe and Bor yeah. Borla ATAC uh, axle. And then don't you have headers or no? No. 
No, no I mean, it's basically because I took off the cat, so it's basically just stock headed. Oh, okay. okay. But it's nothing restricting it. And then here's our sushi. And we're about to go smack on. Looks amazing, doesn't it? Alright. Kinda heavy too. Don't drop that right now. <laughs> <Drop> everyone. <laughs> Literally, it's like five people's dinner right here. See, BMW made this car and I was like, you know what? We're gonna make it clean, sound good, but obnoxious. Yeah. Literally obnoxious, bro. Like, this is more obnoxious than Mustang's total. Yeah, but it yeah. Sounds but exactly it sounds good. That's, different. yes, that's the difference. It yeah, sounds right. good. It sounds good. That clicking is just. <laughs> I told you, but you. It's just very. It's ear candy. <laughs> I scared the dog, bro. <laughs> it just, it almost doesn't make sense. It doesn't. How, how do you make a car do this? Uh, how do you make a car sound that good, bro? See, look. You're just guys that like car sounds, bro. <laughs> you don't need a radio in here, by the way, you guys. Simple. Just in oh, case you're so wondering. That's why you want to sing along. Got the timing. To <laughs> <laughs> this guy's probably like, this fool's falling. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. This fool has the timing down to a T. That's not good, buddy. <laughs> yeah, this car is quick. And again, untuned. Yeah. Obviously, not the fastest, but it's like, it's fast still. Enough. Yeah, it's fast enough. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's still, it still gives me butterflies. And I say it. I will continue to say it, like it's untuned and you know it, it feels like this. Alright folks, and we are gonna end it here. Gonna bag it back in the garage. Take a lift in. It actually, it, it, um, obviously you can hear it in there, right? Yeah. But like when you're outside, it's just, yeah, it's crazy. It just doesn't make it's sense like to me, bro. Two, 2,000 RPM. I just, I don't, I don't, like it, no matter how I look at it, it just doesn't make sense how this car sounds that good. I just don't. All those throttle bodies. It just don't make sense. And so that's another thing, guys. When I was doing my research on this car, I did, I didn't know. I'm not saying it, nobody else doesn't know. I didn't know that this car had individual throttle bodies. Eight, eight of them. Yeah, because obviously it's a V8, right? So when you take off the plenum, um you have eight individual throttle bodies underneath that plenum which is crazy which i don't i'm not for sure if that's why it's a common thing for the the throttle actuators to go out maybe oh, i don't know so yeah but it just don't make i don't understand how this car sounds that good it's just it blows my mind yeah so here, I'll, we'll actually show you guys which is also cool so this hood is actually it they put it here to fit the plenum because oh. the plenum like sticks up right here so they have to put that bulge in the hood so that it actually so fits basically one two three four one, yeah two, three, four. so underneath here literally there's a thought body right here 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 and then like four on that side so it's actually pretty crazy oh. i just it doesn't make sense how well, it I kinda, sounds uh, as good forgot to put something there so i guess mine's actually oh yeah because <laughs> we were talking about earlier so Again, we were talking uh, to the other guy uh, that has the E92. He has the plenum that's carbon fiber, and actually, it's, it's, it pretty much remakes this with this it's guy right here. Fiber. It's just carbon fiber, yeah, literally, actually. It literally looks the same. And I'm assuming it's just bigger and it makes it sound yeah, better and stuff like that. It's probably like I forgot what they call it. they bore not I don't know what they call it. Oh, it's it, probably right. Like they probably bore it. Yeah, you know? yeah, like bore it out. Yeah, in exactly. a sense. 
But yeah, and I, because I was asking him, oh, like, are these like active? And they were saying like this one is, this one isn't. But uh, since I wrapped the car, I forgot. Yeah, he forgot to put the thing. So technically, it is, but they have it covered, right? Because you're not using that one, but you're using that one for the intake. But so if that one's just open, it's, it's just good to have it open to have all this air, right? Yeah, no, that's true. It's just the only thing that sucks is like if you wash your car, obviously there's unnecessary water is gonna get an engine bay. But uh, I don't know if you guys can see it well. I know it's dark. It's see if dark. I can put some uh, light. But yeah, that's pretty much what the engine bay looks forward. like. Yeah, I appreciate for it. It literally the the freaking uh, manifold is the. Wait, did you tell how much it is, Brandon? What? Oh, I didn't actually. Yeah, so this the motor right here is twenty eight thousand dollars. Around, obviously, give or take. It's not every single motor, brand new though. Brand new, twenty eight thousand dollars for a used one. And you know, you know how it is buying used motors, but ten thousand, at least. That's probably for high Who knows? mileage. Yeah, but you don't know what you're gonna get with you don't used know what motors. You're gonna get. So it's like, it's one of those things. Like, okay, do I want to buy brand new because? You know what you're getting, but then it's that's that's twenty eight thousand. That's a whole other car, bro. No, legit, yeah. It's depending on how much you spent on your E ninety two. Obviously, yeah. how obviously people will spend the twenty eight thousand if their body's immaculate and you know. Yeah, I would. Yeah. Individual color, all that yeah. stuff. But if say this motor blue, I'm not buying that. Yeah, not, not for this body. Brand new. Yeah, it's not no single hum, not carbon roof, none of that. So yeah. I'll just go look for the next one. That carbon thing that we were just talking about. Fifty-five hundred dollars, guys. Fifty-five hundred dollars. <laughs> it's crazy, man. At least, yeah. It's a BMW, so you can't expect things to be cheap. But sheesh, fifty-five hundred dollars. I don't know if I spend that on that. But hey, if you got it, why not, right? Who knew I would make it this far? They hated, they never believed me. Yeah, I would never drop the ball. I know I make it look easy. Yeah. Mayweather with the defense. I don't care what a critic gotta say, I got him picking up the pieces. Got me, you really playing with your life. I'm about to come and run it all back. I'm the new ever about to snap back. You ain't fitting for it. Cause